hi welcome back uh, if you didn't catch my two previous videos I will link them down below but I am completing my bins haul um, it was a 59 pound haul of textiles from the Goodwill outlet I spent approximately $93 on stuff I found some amazing brands some things that have been on my bolo list and I'm really excited to show you all I have a ton of clothing so I'm going to go through this quickly. I did accessories in another video and I did kids items in another video where I also touched base on uh, children's consignment sales and how they work, how to enter items in an inventory and just give you a look into what it's like. So uh, feel free to check those out. Again, I'll link those down below. Here is my haul. I hope you're as excited as I am. So let's start out. Jump right in. This is Love by Gap. Pick this up because this is so stinking cute. Dear weekend, I love you. Yes, size small. This I'm probably gonna give to my mom. No, she doesn't want it. It's Express, which I used to work for Express, and I love their clothing. Overpriced for what they are, but I love their clothing. So it's just a turtleneck ribbed black shirt. Athleta. I have this exact same pair, I think in the exact same size in a different print, but they have like pockets on them. They're just black athletic leggings, super cute, size small. This is cool, giant Adidas logo tank crop, floral, super cute. It is a size small as well. is my third maternity item. I only pick up maternity items if I think they're super cute, but it is just a Gap maternity size small, oversized pinstripe tunic top. Super cute. Another Express. This one was actually sold at Goodwill. They were wanting $7.99 for it. They didn't get it. It's an Express Merino wool blend like a zip quarter zip sweater black sweater it's men's super nice love how cozy they are um this is nike tech capris they are a size large gray heathered love those this one is bdg lightweight knit sweater. It's going to be perfect for spring. I was trying to pick up more spring items. I just was not finding very many. Um, it's an extra small. This is a men's Volcom size small modern fit. It's a short sleeve button down. Um, Goodwill wanted $4.99 for it. This is, this is a Madewell tank crop, it has tie, it has button downs, it's like a very thick knit texture and thread, Madewell, size extra small. Pick this up because this watermelon is awesome. It's Style Co, which is like, I don't know, Fred Meyer or something like that but it has like this cool like tie-dye down below and a watermelon it's just so random it's like an oversized tunic top it's um a size medium super fun for summer um i also picked up this bag which is cool it's like one of the 31 bags and it, it's like perfect to just keep in the car it stays like a rectangle like this it's super awesome keeping that Okay, one bag down, two to go, and that was the most empty bag, so. Um, love this brand. I need to do some more research on this exact piece, but it is a Liberty, oh, it's for Target. Okay, I didn't notice that. So this is a Liberty of London for Target. I didn't know Target was collabing with them, but I like it. Love Liberty of London. Um, it is a size XL, and I 
think it's supposed to be like a tunic top, but it could also potentially be pajamas. I'm not sure, I'll do more research. It's like lace right here. It's not very like, like it's not see-through see-through, but it's not very thick either, so let's look at that. This is one of many Zara pieces I found today. Um, this one even still has the like tag thing still in here, but um, it's a Zara Trafalic. It's a leopard print, long sleeve. Uh, it's not quite cropped. It's like short, but not cropped. And it has elastic down here. Size, what size are you? Medium. This is a Tommy Hilfiger, size medium. It is a cropped sweater. It has the Hilfiger over here. Super, super cute. I'm not sure if this will, if this came cropped or if they made it cropped, but it seems pretty, I don't know. It totally comes cropped. Super cute, love that. Um, this is a Rock and Republic size extra large cotton polo. It's kind of like a heathered maroonish purple color. Um, Plato's Closet takes this brand. They don't take a whole lot of stuff, but they do take that brand. So when in doubt, um, this is a free people tank, has little free people thing right there. It's an extra small, but as free people is super, super oversized for an extra small. Better mention that too, so I don't get dinged. Um, these are men's large Adidas basketball shorts. They are like 5,000 times longer than I'm used to seeing basketball shorts. So I might see if my very tall husband wants them first. Um, this I thought was interesting. This is a Zara, um, and it is a medium as well, but it's like, I'm pretty confident it's supposed to be like this, um, but it, it looks like it was like torn, but it's super like soft, so cozy. What is this made out of? It's like very heavy knit, super, super soft. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm, polyester, nylon, and viscose. Should have known it's one Zara, but it's super heavy knit. I need to check and make sure that it's supposed to be like that, but a lot of these edges in here are like very raw, so I think that was the look they were going for. And it actually isn't bad. Like, I thought it was gonna look really dumb when I picked it up. I was like, oh no, it's ripped, but of course my, my arm's in the way. It's not that bad. Okay, this, I love this. It is a love tree, size small. It's quilted on the inside, it has a plaid in the hood. It is just a black coat, super cute. Love that. This is an American Eagle, extra small, long sleeve, denim dress. Looks like it is missing its belt but I can just hold out selling this and pick up a belt next time I'm out. Um, I find those all the time. But you know what's funny is I've had a denim long sleeve dress in my closet for months, but it's like some off brand, which is super cute, good quality, but I guarantee this will sell before that does. Every time, every time those weirdo brands that are actually super cute. So this is um, cut from the cloth. It's size 14. But they are high rise, raw edge. Oh, it's like the chewed edge. It's like the raw chewed edge over here. Um, jeans, super stretchy. I want to say they're almost like jegging material over here because they are so stretchy. High rise, ankle skinny. Yeah, super cute though. I never find jeans in that size that are not like Gloria Vanderbilt. <laughs> All right, this is Ariat. Love me some Ariat. Extra large women's fitted 
button down, gray and white, plaid. This is a new tag stitch fix item. Um, the last new tag stitch fix item I found at the bins sold within a week. So this is super cute. Um, it has the laser cut out. It's the Brixen Ivy James laser cut dress in cobalt size medium. So, so stinking cute. I don't even know if you can like take in how adorable this is. They've got this pleating down here that leads to these really beautiful laser cutouts, just super lightweight. And it even has, when you zip it up and button it in the back, it still has an opening in the back. So cute, extra button, absolutely adorable. Like I said, really excited about my finds. I don't normally buy $60 worth of stuff or 60 pounds worth of stuff there. I usually find like 20 or 30 and that's about it. So I was really excited about all of this stuff. So um, this is Aster size large, super cute, like peach pink skirt with um, a lace edition at the bottom to make it more of like a midi length, but it's gonna be adorable for spring. So cute love it um these are high rise skinniest size three bowl head denim and they are like an army olive green super cute pair of just stretchy comfy jeans oh oops um this was a torrid piece a size large and it's just a black blouse with like yellow and white florals on it super cute it's a size one it has these really fun bell sleeves down here so pretty love that all right some more jeans these are bdg urban outfitters they are twig mid-rise size 26 they have some distressing on the knees. They have raw edges on the bottom. They're like a mid-wash, super cute. Um, if you haven't seen my videos before, I pick these up all the time because I live in Oregon. So I'm very close to the um, Nike headquarters. So there's a lot of Nike. So I pick up these dry fit Nike tees just because I, if I get enough of them, I can just start bundling them and selling them for a better price by selling multiples of them together. So um, I still just pick them up anytime I find one in good quality. Just pick that sucker up. So this is a dry fit tee. Um, it's a men's uh, size large Nike dry fit. Um, I honestly don't know who this person is and I have to look up the name because I'm not savvy with that stuff, but he looks like he's a Olympic USA runner, so I thought someone might want that. Let's see. This super cute, beautiful, like mauve purple, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Um, it's the kimchi blue brand. It's a small. I believe kimchi blue is sold. Oh, I don't remember where. I want to say Urban Outfitters, but I don't think that's right. I'll have to look, but it's super cute. I like to pick up just some random men's logo tees. It's a Bud Light one. And it's a size medium. I was trying to find shorts. I think I only ended up with like four shorts at the end of it all, but that's what I was trying to find while I was there. So not very good odds. Four out of all of that. Um, these ones may have been cut by a person, I'm not sure, um, but they are Polo, Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren. Oh, they say five inch short, so maybe that is, maybe they are meant to be shorts, but they're size 10, just super simple jean shorts, got some fringing on them, holy crap, these are heavy. So these are, uh, these are Zara. Um, I think they're men's. I don't, I think they're men's jeans, honestly. I don't know. Maybe they're women's. I really 
don't know very much about Zara. Just that I don't usually care for their style, like personally. But um, their Zara jeans, they say they're a size US 8. So maybe they are women's. But they almost have like the Levi's look to them. Just a pair of black jeans. Ooh, there goes my bag. Um, I found some American Eagle shorts. They have like the distressing, but then they also have the patterned pockets that show through. You can see that. Um, the patches and all that, but they are American Eagle size four. for me it doesn't fit I'll post it but I just I wanted one and I finally found one it's like just one of the crisscross tops so wear it under something else and um yeah here is another Zara Trafalic just a gray crop heathered sweater super stretchy super soft it is a medium as well this is everlane size extra small and it's like a maroon and like a white whitish no it's white it doesn't say cream but it has like a wide neckline it's like a thicker material too but very cute here's another pair of shorts that i found i thought these were really fun they're called city short they're gap shorts, size zero, and they're this fun, like, embroidered, like, festival pattern. Super cool. They have pockets here, pockets up here, button and hooks and zipper attachment. So fun. Goodwill wanted $4.99 for them. Those are my size. I actually probably would have bought those at Goodwill. So these are Gap. I picked these up. I picked this up because it's a thirty-five twenty. Um, it's a skirt, and it is like the button-up skirt, but it's a very good size. Like I said, I don't. I have a hard time finding any of the bigger sizes. I don't know if they're just harder to find, but especially cute stuff. A lot of the stuff I find is not cute, and I want to pick up cute stuff. So I found some. Um, these are page jeans. I have never found page jeans. I hear about people finding page jeans and I found them at the bins. I was very excited. I don't know much about them. Um, also, I don't know what this color is. Like, I almost want to say it's gray, but part of me also wants to say it's brown. I don't know. It's really hard to tell. They're a size 25, so they're smaller size, but they're just... Skinny jeans. They look low rise. I'm not sure they rise. These are for myself because who doesn't love a pair of cozy shorts? Picked up an IKEA bag from there. Didn't notice it has some gross stuff at the bottom of it, so it'll probably be my next Goodwill donation bag. I also do that with things because I have to get my donations to Goodwill somehow. Alrighty. Last. Um, so these are Target brand. They're Massimo. Massimo. Sorry, I'm going to button them. Um, they're a mid-rise jigging. They're a size 226, but they have, they're really pretty dark wash and they have all this distressing on them. So I thought they were a really nice pair. Um, these don't know much about except that I've heard the brand so I won't thought I'd pick them up because they are they're from the bin so why not this is Lyra um and they're just like this fun pair of like floral joggers but they're like a like a sheer blouse material almost 
So, and they're not even like fully joggers because this is not elastic, but that was fun. They have like um, interior like shorts in them. So they're not sheer all the way through, but yeah, tie waistband. I have to do more research on the brand, but heard the name before, thought they were cute. So for $1.29 a pound. Um, this is the TRF collection from Zara, a pair of paper bag waist gray wide leg pants super cute again thought i saw a spot back here oh yep have to wash that and see if i can get that out sometimes you miss stuff like that it happens these i might see if my father-in-law wants first because they're his size i know weird that i know that Um, so these are just a pair of really nice Under Armour pants, size 34, 30. They have like this cool, like sticky inside elastic band going on here, but nice gray pair of pants. This is Elan. Um, I have a dress in this brand that's pretty expensive, but it's a super pretty gray sweater and it has these like ties down here. Um, let's see, it is so soft. Hmm. Acrylic nylon and spandex, size large, but super cute. Really like this. That, this is Cabby brand, which I do know is a Nordstrom brand. I thought it was a really cute, like spring summery piece with the tie neck right here. Um, I have another Free People, very boho esque, crisscross neck, cute little long sleeve top, and there's a size extra small. these Nike shorts. These were in someone's throwback pile, but they're just like purple Nike shorts with the Nike waistband. That elastic tie there, size medium. Um, this is a Lucy size large. I have a lot of Lucy lately. The people really like or really don't like Lucy and keep donating it. So um, it's like a like a maroon and black heathered. It looks brown in there, but it's more of a maroon. Um, size large. Goodwill wanted $9.99 for it. They didn't get it. I have like the mock turtleneck thing going. This, I think I'm keeping for myself, is from Express. It's a size small, but it's like a sheer overlay with like a shimmery underlay. Super cute. Excuse to go on a date night, right? This I picked up because I knew, actually I don't know anything about this brand. I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, it's Crimson and Clover, but it is wool. And it's a three quarter zip. Did check for holes. Um, so it's 91% merino wool, 6% cotton, 2% nylon, and 1% silk, which is such an interesting blend. But I haven't, like, I looked all over, didn't see any wool holes, but it's so soft, super cute. Doesn't look like it's ever really been worn because there's no, like, pilling anywhere. It's super cute. Um, and then I have this sun and shadow which i recognize the tag but i'm not really sure where it's from so i'm going to have to look but it's like a pink and gray and black like baby pink like duster cardigan and it has almost this lace effect on the back but it's all like crochet or embroidering crocheting it's sun and shadow size medium it has pockets super cute this is uh, Mimi Chica, and it is just a really pretty black with purple and blue florals kimono. Um, Goodwill wanted $6.99 for it. 
This is probably for my husband. It's a size medium Columbia long sleeve shirt. These are women's Columbia size four regular um, zip off style pants with the zipper opening at the bottom in really good condition. These retail like 60 to 80 dollars so don't know why I threw that pile. Really tacking like in like a pattern now too. I like get in this this groove and I just go. Uh, this is one of the first things I found actually. It's a Columbia um, just like a jacket I guess but there's the poles on these and there's no pole on this. So I'm gonna see if I can find a picture and find out if they're supposed to be. I'm assuming since there's poles on the zippers that there should be one here. So this might be what is wrong with it is it's missing the little zipper like string pole with actual zippers there. So it's a size small, so cute. Love that. Um, I just thought this was a fun pattern. Kind of the old school look. It's also Hannah Anderson. Look at that. But it says it's a Hannah Anderson 70. And someone crossed it out and wrote extra small. But I just... So I don't know if that means that it's a kid's or... I, didn't, I don't think Hannah Anderson does stuff for adults, but it's really cute. So maybe that should have been in my like, kid's closet haul. Uh, Nike Pro. It's just a orange tee, like I said. Just grab these. Goodwill wanted $7.99 for it. Um, Nike Tank, I also have a ton of these. It's a Nike Pro Racerback, size medium, pink tank. I found that one and this one sitting in like the books when I was going through the books with my kids and I was like, well, I'll take those. Um, it's an Under Armour Racerback Tank. Um, I feel like after the new year, when everyone has set resolutions to go to the gym every day, and then closer to summer when everyone's freaking out because they don't have their bikini body, a lot of athletic wear sells. So might as well have a lot of it now. Um, this is just a Ripple Junction shirt, but it's the Goonies, size small, men's, the Goonies never say die. That was super cool. Um, this is a, what is this? American Eagle, but it is a crop, tie it's a little like tie crop it's really hard to show it it just like comes apart but it just ties in the front there super cute so i want to like it um got me a huge marshall bag the marshalls and like hot goods and tj max bags massive and sturdy okay ready last item um i literally was going through everything in the bins and was going through being like, man, this is, I'm having a really good day. You know, it would make my day amazing. I could find me some Lululemon because I literally never find it. And literally within 30 to 45 seconds after that, I pulled out this jacket and this was sitting straight up and I, I freaked out a little bit. It's like, no, no way. Did I just, I did. I totally did. I totally did, you guys. I don't even know if I wanna like sell this because I'm just so excited that I found it. I'm so excited. But it's a Lululemon, like it's not even like a, a tank top, which, you know, would be my last stuff that I would find. And I'm pretty confident this thing is reversible. Um, it has like, one yucky spot right there which is like going to wash right out so whatever also there's a pocket inside their pocket so that's pretty cool um i honestly don't know what all the hype is with lululemon i just like athletic gear because it's cozy but i will wear like old navy athletic gear um so must be pretty high quality uh, the question for everyone here is, where's my, where's my size? Just kidding, found it, it's a size 8.
but yeah. Blue lemon jacket, so cute, so excited. I am going to end my video here because I'm just super ecstatic. Um, yeah, that was $93. If you've watched all the videos. That was $93 at the Goodwill bins, approximately four hours. Uh, take a little longer when my kids are there because they have to stop for snack and potty breaks like every 15 minutes. So it's a long day, but it's fun. We love it. Um, thanks for watching my video. I hope you loved seeing all the goodies I got because I love it. I'm super excited. Um, yeah, like, comment, share. I love you all. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.